Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jeff. So in this video, we're going to check out 17's different units. Trauma by the rap line. We're going to do Pinwheel by the vocal line. And we're going to do Lily Yabai with performance unit. Let's get to it. <laughs> And also, we're so close to 100,000 subscribers, so if you guys have been watching my channel and haven't subscribed yet, this would be a great time to do so. <laughs> okay, so we need CC. Oh, there's no CC. I like having the CC on for rap line because the words are so important. But the, this looks so aesthetic. As gets one of Mingyu and Vernon. I'm in he hits you hard right off the top. <laughs> mm. Love his hair on Vernon. Mm. Whoa, that's a long breath. I love the difference in their styles so far. Uh, we got uh, so so it was more not noticeable for me for um, Vernon with this one because I love his rapping and it's he's one of my favorites. So. Um, with his rapping, what I appreciated about it, him the most is that he has a lot of texture to his voice and he changes it up per song. Like, for for example, for, for Paul and Flower, his verse there, it's a lot more reggae, I feel like. And then here's something here, it's a little bit more kind of like Kanye West, like that kind of like effect, I feel like. And then it has a little bit more um, dynamics with the way he's phrasing and... Uh, from like his kind of like in your face kind of moments and then into more like solemn kind of moments and then we got s -Goops, where it's a lot more kind of chill it's like I don't listen to a lot of rappers but I who is it like Frank Ocean does he do this kind like one of those kind of rappers is he a rapper <laughs> um, I'm probably getting mixed up with everybody but you know what I mean it's a lot more kind of chiller like um, it's not so in your face and Mingyu, uh, his was like right in your face right away. <laughs> oh, that's why. Mingyu has the chorus. Nice harmony. Wow. Great passion in that. The way it changed from like the more mellow kind of sounds and then into that, even with a high kick. Love the harmony on that. Who, di who did the harmony? Uh, I felt like it might have been Vernon by the sounds of it. The harmony in the rap. I love harmonies in rapping because we don't normally hear that. Mm. <laughs> I love this aesthetic on Mingyu though. <laughs> Mm. 
They all look so good. Oh my god. Oh, so mysterious. That texture. Oh. I wish there were CC. I would have loved to, to know what they were talking about. Oh, that piano. <laughs> See, I didn't know it was Jung Han starting the song. Okay, here's my thing with them. Uh, uh, it's quite seamless the way they're singing, but the way their lower registers are blending, it's so cool, but that's why I can't differentiate them but when they go into their higher register i know exactly who it is because i'm so used to hearing those um upper tones but here i'm just like I, when i was like listening on my spotify i'm like who is what but like it's so cool to see that it's different people and it's just so blended well together mm, that cry at the end my oh, joshua is here too Obviously. <laughs> oh. <gasps> oh The ends of their notes are so nice in the song. You could just hear it so clearly. Oh. I love his voice. So before I ha I have I'm gonna be I'm gonna be honest. It's very difficult for me to to isolate Joshua's voice from the group. Um, I don't know what it is. Maybe because he doesn't get enough prominent vocal lines, unlike DK and Sun Quan and uh, Jung Han. I feel like. Um, but with his tone, now that I'm kind of like clearly hearing it, it's a it's breathy and light. It's almost very innocent as well. It's not as textured as Sun Quan's and DK. Theirs is more mature voices and rounder, but his is a lot more feathery. Oh, that push. So This reminds me of a high school. Ah, oh, don't look at me like that. Hallelujah. Oh. 
so emotional. This poem. Seventeen has a lot of great songs. Ooh, there's more. Credits? Behind the scenes? It's just well shot too. That turn! This reminds me of Vancouver because of the rain. <laughs> oh, that ocean sound. Whoa. Quite cinematic. I think Seventeen has some of the better, slower vocal songs in the industry. I've heard a lot now in K-pop, anyway, because I, we know that soloists and K bands have more repertoire that I haven't explored. But I feel like in K-pop, I think Seventeen writes a lot of the better vocally centric songs. Definitely in the top top five for sure. Yeah. Okay. Let's get to the performance team. Lily Yabai. Am I saying that right? <laughs> yeah. Lily 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 Yabai. I missed one Lee. <laughs> Is it in London? Oh, amazing start. Whoa. <gasps> Whoa. Shit. Ah, ah. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> oh, that is so couture. If, if couture was a dance movement, it, it would be this. Oh my god. That's sharp movements. Ah, beautiful body lines. Mmm. He's like doing a push up down there. Oh, beautiful. Whoa! Wait. <laughs> Maybe it's my coffee or my tea. Um, but yo, I'm just like hyped up. Um, June, looking ethereal, androgynous, sounding amazing in that higher high register. That pop, boom, boom. You know. Sounds amazing too. Hey how? Oh shit! Ah! <laughs> oh, look at the isolation, the control. A lot of floor work in here. Ah! Levels, dynamics. Oh, Hoshi. Look at that. This is so sexy. <laughs> mm. 
Nice kick there. There's a lot of dynamics in this song. Even though the beat is the same, they still add, they still find ways to add some dynamics in there where it would kind of like um, go with the flow and then it would speed up double time. And that's kind of like one way to kind of keep up with the rhythm and still kind of execute some dynamics in the choreography. And there's just so much going on, ah. That freaking turn! It's like B-Boy. I, I wonder if Ming Hao choreog choreographed that part. Love it. Uh, the facial expression. Oh, Dino! Come on, give it! Oh, hip thrust. Nice control. Boom. You can't see it, but... <laughs> oh, we got some dancers joining. Beautiful. Oh. Oh my god, the synchronization. <laughs> Great isolation in the hand details. <laughs> oh! They're also dead too. That's amazing. This? Oh god. What is this? Performance behind the scene. Mm. So with that, you use that um, knees, like when, the one that's bent, to lift you up into that kind of movement. It's so contemporary. Look at, look at the way, is that June? The way June is moving down there, it's so animalistic. Look at this. Boom, he switches legs and then like the like the body waves the in his back. Mm. Isolation, boom boom. Wow, they're moving as a group there. It's like it's like a wrench. That move. It definitely feels different the way they're performing here and on the music video. Mm. We got dynamics there. Oh, that's so cool. Like when they uh, move the other's foot uh, behind them, kind of like they hit it. I didn't see that on the music video because it, at that point you they pulled up to uh, Jung Han's face. Ah, uh, Jung-Han. Ah, uh, June's face. <laughs> mm. 
-hmm. I love that there's a lot of variation in genres here. It's styles. The, you got contemporary, you got lyrical hip hop, you got hip hop as well. Ming Hao does that move so much better than the rest. Um, not that the other guys are doing it terribly, it's just because we know that he has a b-boy expertise. So he he floats like a, like a wheel, like a Beyblade. <laughs> what I'm noticing, oh, do you know? Here's the thing though, what I'm noticing about this performance the most between this and uh, the performance. It's got to do with it's something to do with the costumes and the overall like the makeup, the hair. Because in the other version, it's more contemporary, the execution. It's almost um, androgynous the way they were moving. There's a lot of fluidity in the way they were moving. But here, because they're in um, like just regular clothing, there's um, it's a lot more swaggy in some of their movements than the video. And that's how you know that wardrobe and styling plays a huge part in performance. Oh, damn. Oh, that was Hoshi doing that. I didn't see that in the thing at all. Oh yeah, because I was focused on Dino on that part. <laughs> Oh, that jump! So it's like a like a jump kick at the back. Oh man! Ah! That ending though, it's a lot of isolation in there. I love the part with everything. <laughs> now, um, like when they went there backwards like this, the hands are kind of like this, which adds some sort of like fluidity and femininity in the performance. Yeah, that is, you got 17's performance unit, vocal unit, and rap line. So it's kind of great to just see them in their element, in their like best. So it's just mind blowing to see. I don't know what else to say. This is a 30 minute video, so I'm gonna end it here. <laughs> well, thank you guys for watching today. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, do like and subscribe. And if you do subscribe, make sure you tick that notification bell so you don't miss any content from me. And if you'd like to get to know more about me, do check out my Instagram and Twitter down below.